now that I've made three trips back to the office, I think All we can right. fly, huh? Yep, let's do it. this thing or no? Uh, I think we're okay with that it actually. Uh, so seatbelts fastened. Yeah, there we go. Fuel shut off is, actually maybe I need the light back there. <laughs> is on good. Alright. Cool. So let's check our we travel here. Alright. So active, free travel, throttle, free travel, cyclic, moves around. And as we go through Yeah, put some boogers or something on there. Alright. So friction back on. Friction on. Good. Alright. Uh, so now we are on rotor brake is disengaged. Uh, circuit breakers are in. Carb heat is off. Uh, mixture is full rich. Mixture guard is installed. Primer is not here. Landing lights are off. Avionics if installed are off. Clutch is uh, disengaged. Uh, altimeter will set and uh, governor is on. Good. All right. And so now, moving along. Uh, so, give it a couple primes. Yeah, probably two. So one, two, and full off. Good. All right. So, faster strobe. Good. Not there yet. Clear. Clear. So we got the door latched. Cool. And so now we're ready for the ignition. So yeah, if you want to switch the nav lights on, we'll get instrument lights in here as well so we can see this. Okay. Way. Which one's uh, nav? Far left. Far left. There we go. There All right. Go. So we'll start and then we're going to look for light, oil pressure, and then clutch uh, alternator. Yeah. And then go. Okay. Okay. Testing, testing. Yeah, it's loud and clear. There we go. All right. So just a couple things on the start. Uh, you always want your left hand on the throttle so that if, when you start it, if the engine RPM jumps to 80, the governor is on, mm -hmm. it'll rock it up. All and right. because there's no load on the blades at that point, mm -hmm. it's not going to slow down in time, and you'll just slam it up into the top. Okay. So uh, left hand's always on the throttle when we're touching the, the uh, starter. Um, and then it basically as soon as you hear it start to, you know, it's like starting a car, like it cranks a couple times and because this is a new engine, it, it'll only crank a few times and then it'll start, it'll sound different, it'll sound faster. Yeah. As soon as that's going, you just let go of the starter and it'll, it'll keep going. Okay. Oh, all right. So, uh, we're waiting for our clutch right before, uh, yeah, we roll up. Yeah, in the meantime, there are some things we can do. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I'm going to guess that's the motor for the uh, light, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, actually, maybe it was the clutch. Yeah, huh. did, you, did you pull the uh, the volume and that's when it, when it did that? Is that what you did to get that? All it did, yeah, was just pull it out to check the... 
Oh, uh, yeah. Scratch. I, I bet that's the clutch motor that we're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. shit. I've never heard that before. That's weird. That's exactly what it sounds like. If you go, if you go stand, but if like the engine's off, you go back there and stand by it, and I flick the uh, clutch on. Yeah. That's exactly how it sounds. Wow, <laughs> that was like wow. Did somebody set the alarm off at the yeah at the tower? And here's a little trick: if you click in on that knob, which one? Is the it? yeah, click that guy in, and then use the big knob to come down there, the nearest. Oh, I see. And then you just hit direct enter enter. Or maybe maybe it's enter. Yeah, and then one more time. There you go. To a left to remain in the pattern. Hayward. Okay. That was two people at once. They just... <laughs> the only people to say anything in five minutes and they talk at the same time. <laughs> yeah, wow. Alright, so now... Okay, we're clutch. Yeah, Mike. so now we can run that up a little bit. Hayward. Turn it up a little. Alright, so run it up to... 70, 75, so right there. And then we can also do our carb heat. Cool, so carb heat on. Yeah, cool. I think it's locked right now. There you go. Cool, all right, so carb heat's up, and then uh, I believe next is our mag check. Uh, so engines are green, like that. Almost. There. Almost, okay. We'll give that guy just another minute. Uh, what else can we do right now? So, next is the mag drop and the splutch, splutch, sprag clutch. Okay. Is there uh, anything we can do in the meantime? Yeah, weather. Okay. So, I'm guessing, uh, the 120.2 is, uh, staff. Yep. So, 126.7, I'm guessing is... Yep. Okay, so let's give it a listen. Wrong button. Oops. You're just gonna have to dial it in now. Oh, man. The one, what was it, 1267? Yeah. That's the one on the left. Halo Tower hours of operation are 0700 local time to 2100 local time. The common traffic advisory frequency is 120.2. Pilot operated approach lighting is available 120.2. For additional information, IFR clearances or Charlie Airspace information, contact North Shell Approach at 128.05. Hayward Air Terminal. Automated weather observation 0443 Zulu. Wind two six zero at zero four. Okay. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one five Celsius. Dew point one one Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner six. Remarks. Density altitude one hundred. Niner niner. Tower hours of operation are 0700 local time to 2100 local time. The common traffic advisory frequency is 120.2. Pilot operated approach lighting is available 120.2. For additional information, IFR clearances, or Charlie Airspace information, contact North Shell Approach at 128.05. Cool. All right, so now we just need our... Oh, check our powers in a second. Okay. But we are green, green, and green, so let's check our mag. Okay. And are we at the right spot for right RPM there? Yeah, we see it very well. Yeah, about 70. Maybe a little higher. There. There we go. All right, so. 1 1,000, 2 1,000. Good. Yep. All right. 1 1,000, 2 1,000. So now we'll do our sprag clutch check. So look for the needles to split. There we go. Beautiful. Cool. All right. And so now we just check our, uh, get your flashlight. All right. So it's at 1.5. So about 2.2, two, 2.25, two, 2.3.4. Two, okay. Cool. And then, uh, Got our doors closed and latched. Check that. So we'll take the frictions off. Test our uh, low RPM horn. New words, Cessna, uh, pre Papa Lima departing to wait left. All right. Oh, so friction's coming off. Three. All right. 
Hey, we can turn our landing light on here, just to kind of give people an idea that we're going to be moving around soon. All right. So we're traffic success on 901 we're eight miles to the southeast. I'll just roll it up while this guy's coming by. Yep. Hayward, uh, three Papa, Cessna three Papa Lima, we're in uh, left traffic uh, doing uh, uh, stop and goes on the left, and we'll watch for the uh, traffic on the We're using a 2-8 left and it left traffic, right? Yeah, so I think we'll take off from Alpha. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll just do real real tight right traffic and then come over and land uh, for Spot Charlie. There you go. Okay, uh, traffic straight in to 2-8 left. How far out are you? Clear left. Miles out now. All right, clear right. So let's okay, do we'll a two-finger. Okay, we'll go uh, long downwind and come in behind you. Appreciate the help. All right. Breathing it up until I feel a light, make corrections, and then come up slowly. Yep. Friction on this guy? No, it's just a real stiff collective. You're right, okay. A lot of the time when they're fresh out of overhaul like that, they'll be real stiff. They'll kind of break in over time. straight up into a hover and we'll hold here then we'll take a look around see where everybody's at and then we'll step out to alpha all right okay let's get nice all right so let's fix all that movement okay, right about here yeah so no more collective and just go no no more collective to the left there you go all right okay let's go ahead and on raise it a little more left Hover, lights out, gauge is green, feels good. Clear to the left, that car is waiting for us to the right. We'll go ahead and step out to Alpha whenever you're ready. All right. Okay, we're traffic, we have the downwind traffic in sight. Oh, we're going straight on 2 left. going to have the right of way over cars on an airport. Yeah. So keep that in mind, but don't trust it as like law because yeah. people don't always either know or care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we can do our pedal turn, kind of take a look around. Someone was on short fire. Someone was on final. Someone was in downwind. Yeah. Everybody for two eight left. Is that so. guy in the pattern right there? Seven o'clock there? No, I think he's way out there. All right. Uh, it's kind of hard to see anybody. Uh, there's this guy. Looks like he's on base. Yeah, I think that was our downwind traffic. who's probably turned base. He was talking to somebody else a little bit further out, I think. Yeah, I don't see any. Well, maybe that's our 2-8 left straight in, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Okay, we'll finish up our pedal turn, and then uh, we'll take off Alpha. The wind is so much nicer than it was uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. So there's this guy out there, is that Oakland? Where, up, out there? Yeah, that bright guy. Uh, that's not even... All right, so... Hey, we're traffic skies, 901-934s, two mile final for only 28 left. Okay, hey, we're Factor. And this guy doing a touch and go, or is he... Uh, no. We give him a little look here. Yeah, I don't... I see him out there, I think. He's a ways out still. All right. Hey, we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha on the go. Taxiway Alpha parallel 
to a left uh, for left traffic. Hey, we're Correct, it'll be right traffic run across over the uh, center line on final for 28 and land on Zulu for two zero. Alpha. And uh, Cessna 3 Papa Lima, we're on about a three mile final for 2811. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for him. Cool, so right traffic? Yeah. Is that just because you want to kind of stay out of the hair or? Uh... Yeah, if they have to go around, then that's going to put us right there. And if we make our downwind and then our base, we'll, we'll be able to see him better. Yeah. All right, so right about here. Yep. Cross on. Yeah, because like the golf course is basically the end of the Delta. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally, it's the craziest. Oh, there's here. Bring that up. All right, I hope you're counting them down. <laughs> or we might yeah. just do this all. <laughs> all right, I got a guy on the ground. I got someone out there on final. There he goes. Yeah, so we can just come to like 500 feet. Stay there. Make another call here, huh? Yeah. Hey, we're traffic. Helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha. Right downwind to a left. Have the final traffic in sight. Hey, we're... Uh, that was garbled. Uh, we're about one and a half mile on final for 28 left. We have you in sight. Helicopter 622 Alpha. All right, so let's go full RP. And I guess we can just loop around and follow him in, huh? Yeah. And then once we get over the numbers for 28 left, we'll sidestep over to Zulu and land a spot, Charlie. Okay. We'll do our patterns from there so that we don't have to deal with the airplane guys. Right about here, huh? Yeah. And let's try and keep it over the parking lot for the mall. Okay. Oh, I see. Kind of avoid this stuff here. Yeah. Hayward traffic helicopter 622 Sarah Alpha, right base to final 28 left. Uh, Hayward. So we want 300 AGL, so we're right there until we uh, get our normal approach angle. And I don't want to do one to the actual 2A left. I just want to, we'll kind of keep our 300 AGL here. Okay. So bring the power back in a little more. And once we get over the numbers for 2A left, we'll sidestep over to Zulu on the left side. Okay. And then we'll do a normal approach to, to spot Charlie. Okay. So a little more, maybe we'll just go like 20 inches here to get our altitude back up. And then our radio call will be uh, sidestepping the taxiway Zulu, and we can start that now. And Hayward, uh, Skyline is clear. So it'll make the, full, the full call here, like Hayward traffic all the way. Yeah. Hayward traffic, helicopter 622, uh, Sierra Alpha, sidestepping to uh, taxiway Zulu for spot Charlie. Hayward. Perfect. All right, so now we can, I have no idea where the air, but. Yeah, this will be interesting. I think I might see it. Up. I think it's next to that sign. Oh yeah, the taxiway kind of cuts over to the left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's an adventure. All right. Oh, hello, ETL. So. Uh, Alright, so let's just kind of keep a quick hover taxi uh, down here and let's find spot Charlie so we know where it is. Okay. I don't want to go too fast. Yeah, actually. I don't want that power. Alright. Did hover taxi, I have vision air taxis. <laughs> I yeah. I putting in some juice. Alright. Wow, this is down here. Yeah, that's, that's really... <laughs> Right, right there. 
near the very end. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, there it is. All right. All right, so we're gonna have to turn our crosswind over the golf course again. So we'll do left crosswind? Yeah, and we're gonna do a close in left traffic for spot Charlie. Okay. And don't even bother saying a runway, just say spot Charlie. So at, at spot Charlie. Yeah, and once, let me give us a little less carb heat here. We're pulling a bunch of power. I'm not sure what that's about. That's a little bit better. Okay, lights are out, the green. All right, so what's the call here? So we're on, we're at Taxiway Charlie. Uh, Spot Our, Charlie. So Spot we'll Charlie. say, hey, we're traffic helicopter two Sierra Alpha at Spot Charlie, making departing, or let me try that again. <laughs> hey, we're traffic helicopter two Sierra Alpha, departing from Spot Charlie, left traffic for Spot Charlie. All right. Just to make it clear to everyone that we're not going to land or take off on a runway. Hey, we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha at Spot Charlie. Uh, on the go, making tight left traffic for Spot Charlie. Hey, we're perfect. All right. Okay, okay right now here. don't move that collective at all. We have as much power as we're going to need. <laughs> it felt like uh, it's hard to get running there. There we go. Yeah, it's because we don't have a whole lot of wind. All right. There so. we go. And yeah, let's kind of start an early climb out. A little bit more aggressive. We can go a little more power now. And now we can turn our cross. So should I make full calls for uh, this uh, little pattern here? We'll probably just do the downwind. I probably give the same uh, downwind call there, right? 2 8 left? Two, one, eight, no, three, spot Charlie. Hey, one check. Because when you say 2-8 left, they're envisioning you're going to land 2-8 left, but we're not. Okay. So right about here is like next to the spot, I think. Yeah, all right. Hey, okay, we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha, left downwind for spot Charlie. Hey, we're... Okay, let's go ahead and start our descent. So we'll go full carb. Right, full carb. All right, cool. So... It's going to be hard as hell for me to make out and spot Charlie, so... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, our airspeed indicator is showing like nothing right now. Yeah, it seems super touchy. So I'm just going to come oh, on shit. and bring us yeah, over we're gonna to the get left out of the here. runway. Yep. Bring a little more power in. Yeah, and that's because you might be putting a little bit of pedal or something when we make those turns. Uh huh. Because if the pitot tube's not lined up, I'm off the controls again to tell okay. you. I'm on the controls. Uh, when the pitot tube's not lined up with the direction of travel, it's not getting any indication, basically. Yeah. Or not necessarily not any indication, but it's getting much less wind. So it's not going to have a really good idea of our airspeed. Yeah. Okay, there it is. short but all right all right all right so this time when we're on final I'm gonna give this car beat down again this time when we're on final um, I want you to go ahead and lower that car beat all the way down to the bottom before we get too far into our approach like right before you have to start pulling the collective back in just punch that car beat all the way down okay so that we have enough power when we get to the bottom. Cool. Okay, um, so that's two. So on that uh, that left base to final that we did there, uh, where it felt a little bit funky. Uh -huh. uh, so don't mess around with the pedals too much. Just yeah, use cyclic there. Yeah, yeah. The only time we're going to use pedals is if we want to change, uh, if we're in a hover, basically, or if the trim strings aren't straight up when we're yeah. in cruise. So when we're in cruise, the trim strings will tell you whether or not you need pedal work. In a hover, your heading will tell you whether or not you need any pedal work. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do a little bit different. Uh, we're going to... I don't want to quite do a max performance takeoff, but if you want to go a little more power, maybe to 23 inches and then roll, just so that we take off a little bit faster over that house. Okay. All right, so lights are out. It's our green, 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 green. Heartbeat. Enough, so... 
Give it a go. Hey, we're traffic helicopter 622, Sierra Alpha. At spot Charlie, on the go uh, for left traffic uh, for spot Charlie. Hey, we're... So, pull it up to 23. Okay, and I'm just going to come on just a little on cyclic just to kind of show you. We'll do kind of more like a 206 takeoff profile. Okay. And then we'll turn before we get to that house. All right, left looks clear. Stop putting in that left pedal. I felt it that time. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Yeah, let's get a little more right pedal in there. And I want to stay this side of Meridian, which is that building okay. with the red flashing light. So should I go full car beat or just... Uh, yep. okay. Yeah, we'll go full now. And just worry about your call on final. Don't make a downwind call right now. Okay. So left so, base to final for spot, Charlie. Yep. And I would go ahead and start descending now. All right. Get your right pedal. A little more, see so our trim strings coming out of whack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so this is Meridian, so we'll start our turn. Hey, we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha. Left uh, base to final for spot Charlie. Hey, we're... There, did you see me, like, feel me come on the pedals there? Yeah. Next one, I don't want to go past that building right there. Okay. Because that's, we can keep it just real nice and tight here. And yeah. Kind of bang these things out. All right. So let's find Charlie. Yeah. And we're not going to get up to 500 feet either. We're going to get to like 300. Yeah. And then we're going to start descending again. Okay. So right. I can go car beat lower here. Yeah. All right. And then let's try to line it up. So I read that the reason why you're uh, less worried about being out of the, the curve for uh, your approach is just because you're requiring less engine power, right? Uh, keep a little bit of forward airspeed here. There we go. Say that again? So it was always kind of a curiosity to me that, uh, you know, when you're taking off, you want 60-22, right? And you don't, you want... Uh, basically get out of the arc, right? Or out of the... Uh, the dead man's curve? Dead man's curve. Yeah. So the reason we're not worried about that when we're on approach is because we're at a much lower pitch angle in the blades. Uh -huh. So if the engine dies there, then it's... You know, the RPM is not going to decay quite as quickly. Yeah. Because when you're taking off, you know, we're at... I think this is what you were saying. We're at 22 and a half inches just in a hover here. If the engine dies now, those blades are going to stop in like a couple seconds. Yeah. Uh, whereas if we're at 15 inches and the, the engine goes out, it's, we get a little more time before we have to react. Yeah. We'll keep a little more inertia on the rotor blades. Cool. So number three. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, we'll rock and roll. Do the same thing, only a little bit tighter. Okay. Cool. Here we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha. At Spot Charlie on the go for uh, closed left traffic for Spot Charlie. Hey, we're. Yeah, we'll do our kind of modified takeoff profile here again. Okay, so get to about 40 and just balloon up here. Yeah. Alright, so go left here. Don't put that pedal in. The right pedal back. I'll help you out a little bit. Cool. Full car beat here. Okay. Looks like just about a beam spot, Charlie, right now. Okay. So we got full car beat, lights, gauges, fuel, start your descent. So keep it before the building, huh? Yep. So start your turn right here. I'm gonna try not to touch the pedals here.
Yeah, now, as we get these vibrations, we need to keep that forward movement coming. There we go. I like to feel that collective be nice and high as we're coming through ETL. Heartbeat's down. All right. We're at the heartbeat down on that stretch. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate just a little bit on this one, kind of how we want to keep it nice and tight. Okay. Hey, we're traffic, just on a 6 4 zero eight seven. All short, all on the trail left as well. Uh, go right, constraint, departure. Yeah. Hey, we're traffic. Whenever you're ready. All right. Hey, we're traffic, helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at spot Charlie, making left traffic uh, for spot Charlie. Hey, we're... That was four. Yeah. A little bit of airspeed. Pop up. All right, so I'm gonna watch my pedals here. Yeah, I'm just gonna come on a little bit. Okay. Clear left and right. And here we traffic. Uh, Skyhawks on the uh, pickup on to left, we have the helicopter. Here's our downwind. Okay. We're gonna make sure we're parallel to the runway. Ah, full car beat. All right. A little more to the right here. <laughs> okay, it looks like a beam spot, Charlie. We got full car, lights, gauges, and fuel. All right. Start descending. And I don't care about buzzing industrial stuff like this real low, but houses is what we're trying to avoid. So yeah. okay. that's why we're doing this real tight. Cool. And you're mostly on right here. I see, okay, so you went a little bit more right. Doing a slightly gradual more swing, but definitely. Yeah, more of like a, kind of a one big turn almost from downwind to final. Yeah. Just to keep it real smooth. Right here, I'm gonna go lower the car peat. Uh, yeah, and you can even wait a little bit longer because we're about 40 knots here. Yeah. I don't even see spots Charlie yet. Okay, you have all the controls here. I have the controls. You got them. I just want to kind of show you what we want the pattern to look like, just because it's super tight. Yeah. This is kind of an abnormal thing. We're not going to do this most places. We're just doing it tonight because we got to not fly over to the mobile home park, apparently. That's like a big deal from what everyone tells me. <laughs> Morals, man. Trying to find that. Ben, there it is. Five. Okay. So on this one, let's do a pedal turn and see if we can find that Cessna. I don't... All right. uh, that might be him over there. He might have taken off already. So do you generally always do left pedal turns if you can, or? Yes. Okay. And we like to do that because even though it requires more power to start, it's more controllable. Yeah, and it takes less power to stop. So you'll notice. Uh, I'm gonna come on just kind of on the pedals a little bit, and we're okay. gonna do some. We're gonna get spinning to the left here. Kind of hold over the spot. And you see, we put in a bunch of left pedal. Yeah. We just start spinning to the left. When we want to stop, watch the manifold pressure. It comes down. Yeah. <laughs> and that's because we're not stomping left pedal to make it happen. So now, if we do the same thing to the right, then we put in a bunch of left pedal, manifold pressure Goes comes up. a whole bunch up. And you yeah. can actually kind of watch and feel the RPM change with it as well. As the manifold pressure goes up, your RPM is going to come down, and vice versa. Yeah. All right, I'm off the controls. You got them all. I got the controls. You got them. All right, on the go. So lights are out. Gauges are green. Go. Hey, we're traffic helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at Spot Charlie making a uh, tight close uh, left traffic for Spot Charlie. Hey, we're... There's our ETL. Push through. Our trim. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get enough airspeed on these real tight patterns when we're trying to cross one right away. Yeah. All right. I still can't see much. That's a trip up there, that jet coming <laughs> through the clouds. Yeah. All right, so. 
Start beat full. Okay, just fuel, everyone's happy. Start our descent. There we go. I'll try to do it. Kind of bring it and then sweep it around. Keep it a little bit higher here. Yeah. Alright, right pedal. There we go. Air speed up. I wish they had a light on spot Charlie or something. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so our beat down. Alright. They're well shorted spot Charlie. Yeah, that's alright. We'll just hold right here for this one. Alright, so that was six, so we got one more and then we can kinda do whatever we want for the last couple minutes, however long it's gonna be. Alright, so our out gauges are green. Okay, it looks good. Okay. Here we're traffic helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha uh, at Spot Charlie on the go for uh, close left traffic for Spot Charlie. Here we're. A little funky here. Right through that. There we go. It's just kind of like a tick more than anything. Yeah, that's it. Did you fly an airplane before you flew a helicopter at all? Well, like half of one. Not really. Because that's an airplane. When you turn left in an airplane, you put in left rudder. Turn right, you put in right rudder. So yeah. a lot of airplane guys, when they do their transition, they do that exact same thing. They're sparly. Yeah. Okay, so let's go full car beat down, car beat off, I guess. All right. And now we'll have plenty of power when we need it. Get that power in nice and early. And remember, we want to keep that forward movement going all the way down. <clears throat> all right, so that's our seven. All right. Let's see. What do you feel like doing? You want to do some hovering practice stuff? It's not super windy, but sure. Yeah. So let's um, let's keep our nose. I want to keep the front of our skids right over the top of this yellow or the the black circle around the yellow spot here okay and just do kind of walk all the way around it all right they were part of the skits here so i was trying to do the note, but keep a little bit all right felt myself tensing up so i'll just relax yeah remember spend most of your time looking at the horizon just kind of glance down to check your instruments and stuff every so often yeah The tough part about the knife line is it's hard to kind of get a horizon. Yeah, you kind of have to pick lights or something. Yeah. The nose a little bit more in the middle. Yeah, now we want you to use a lot of pedal.
as we're counting down the minutes here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's put our tail right in the center of the Charlie. So like at the tail rotor, I want it to be right over the letter C. Uh -huh. well, we're going to do some turns around the tail. Ooh, all right. So kind of the opposite there, huh? Yeah, so now we're basically going to keep the front of our skids on the black line, but we're going to be on the inside. Yeah. Bring it over here. It's going to be kind of like our knees will be over the spot. Yeah. Or the uh, yellow line. Black line. Jeez. Chris showed me some stuff like this before. It was pretty crazy how good he was. <laughs> yeah, that dude is. He's been flying a very long time. And he is. I mean, he's been in air shows, so. Yeah. He is. <laughs> you know, they talk about like mastery. It takes 10,000 hours to become a master or something. Like, that dude is a master for yeah. sure. hard for me to see the black line here, but I think it's yeah. roughly okay. <laughs> yeah, you can just kind of estimate it and look down to your peripheral vision. It's right. nice and smooth. We don't have to be fast. Got to take our time. Just get a little more forward. And I want you to kind of think about where that tail is sitting when you're flying, because, you know, when we go land over there, if there's another helicopter in that, <clears throat> like when I flew in today, uh, this morning, the 22 was sitting on one of the yellow boxes. And I had to park the Long Ranger between the 22 and some jet that was parked on the other side. Yeah. And so you have to think about where your tail's going to be because you don't want to cut off the heads of the guys that are standing at the 22 filming you. You don't want to cut off the wingtip on the jet next to you. So Yeah. anytime you're close to the ground, you're always thinking, okay, where's my tail? What am I putting my tail in? And this is kind of a good exercise to practice putting your tail where you want it. Yeah. So now let's go around the other direction. We'll go to the right. All right. The right should be a little bit here because we have the, the rotor pushing us. All right, come out to the horizon. Yeah, it's tough because you're like trying to sort of mark two positions at once, right? The horizon and sort of where you are locally here. Yeah. And if it helps to not really worry about the black line, just think about the tail. Yeah. You know, you know about how far back there it is. Just try and keep it in the same spot. Yeah. stuff right here. Don't see it, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> there is no tail rotor. <laughs> Move it with your mind. All right, let's see what else can we do. Okay, uh, let's go to not this blue thing on the ground, but the one just a little bit further down. Okay. I want to get right over that. get over it? Yeah. Just to give us a little bit of distance from Spot Charlie. Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm, I want to kind of put together a scenario where we're going to back the helicopter into a spot. Okay. So let's turn back around and face Spot Charlie. So here is my thought process. I want to taxi up to that yellow thing right there. Um, bring us out to the right, keep the tail over this yellow line here, uh -huh. and then keep the pedal turn to the right and back over Spot Charlie, keeping the tail rotor over this yellow line the entire time. The tail rotor itself? Yeah. Okay, so let me make sure I understand. So we're going to Spot Charlie, we're turning right, holding that, coming back down this way with the tail rotor directly over the yellow line, and then doing the same thing in reverse, same path, I should say. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to go forward, Okay. Keeping the tail rotor over the center line, we're going to swing the nose out to the right. Then we're going to back in the spot, Charlie. Almost like you're parking a car on a spot. You're backing into one. <laughs> All right. Oh, so here we go on spot, Charlie. So now we want to to the right here and come forward a little bit. Here, we're going to put our tail rotor right over the line. Okay. 
Actually, this is not quite what I was picturing. Let me, uh, okay. I'm going to just come on controls sure. a little bit. And kind of bring controls. Here. Not controls. Just to kind of demonstrate kind of what I'm thinking. Sure. It's kind of hard to put it into words without having any way to draw it or anything like that. Okay. So here we are over the line. We get us nice and centered. We're going to come forward. Right about here, we're going to swing our nose out to the right, keep our tail over the yellow line. Keeping the tail over the yellow line, we're going to start backing in. Uh, we're just kind of like we're parking a car. Yeah, I got you. And then I want to come to a stop over Spot Charlie. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here. So you have controls again. I got the controls. You got them. All right. It's almost like a, it's like a two-point turn, sort of. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Go back to our spot down here. This is just another thing that's good for, I think, tail rotor control and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Put the tail rotor where you want it to be. Cool. I think this is our spot. Yeah. Alright. So go to this blue dot here, and then we'll do our little... Yeah. Kind of right shuffle here. line here so we'll come a little more forward there you go keep on swinging it around then we start going backwards there we go and now we're just going to keep on walking all the way backwards till we see spot charlie down below us beep, beep, beep. <laughs> that's the spirit and a little bit to the right there we are. All right, spot Charlie. Cool. All right, now let's just kind of do the same thing the other way. All right. What do you feel like you really earned mastery over the uh, uh, flight mechanics? Or, uh, what do you uh, call this? Helicopter dynamics? I don't know. I think... I started getting comfortable in the long range or 25-ish hours. I didn't feel like, not necessarily overwhelmed, but like, holy shit, they're letting me fly this thing, you know? Yeah. Um, that's kind of when that feeling stopped. In the 22, you know, when you're first learning, it's going to be a little more. You know, your first solo, you're like, oh my <laughs> god, you're going to get out? <laughs> So we can do some air taxi quick stop that away, and we'll turn around and do another air taxi quick stop this away. All right. Then we'll see where we're at on the Hobbs. I think we're getting kind of close to point nine. So lights are out. They're green. Cool. So here we go. So we'll do 50, pop up to 50. Yeah, and on this we're just going to do our normal takeoff profile. We're not going to pull any more power than we need to. Okay. We have all the space in the air uh, world. And I'll call your quick stop. Nope. There we go. And this uh, beat uh, hitter is kind of wonky. Okay, there's our 50 feet. And it kind of sidesteps that way a little bit, so we'll sidestep that way. So we came a little high, so let's come a little lower. I'll give us full carb. 
All right, so because we have a four knot tailwind, uh, we are going to be a little faster ground speed than you might expect when we come through the quick stop. Yeah. So let's get just a little lower, so like 80 feet off the ground. There we go. All right, we'll go quick stop in three, two, one. All right. Not quite so much right pedal there and start yeah. bringing our power in. That was a little wonky. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do one with a headwind this time. Okay. Maybe four knots is a little more than we should do for today. All right. Yeah, that was kind of funky, actually. Uh, I felt like I, I wasn't necessarily putting in a lot of right, but uh, we're still kind of stuck right. Yeah. God, that, this thing's using a lot of power, man. I don't know what it is. All Maybe right. it's just everything still now. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Lights are out. They're green. Cool. Here we go, on the go. Okay. And I don't want to come up above about this altitude until we rotate on purpose. Okay. At nighttime, it's a lot harder not to balloon up. Yeah. A little more forward, a little more, more, more. There we go. So there, 50. Go up a little bit, maybe to right about here. Yeah, that collective, maybe a little less collective. Stop in three, two, one. There you go. Okay, and then bring power in. Let me just come down to the grass, that's fine. Keep a little bit more forward speed here. Yeah. We don't like coming straight down like that. Is, is that a skunk? Ooh, yeah, that's a skunk. <laughs> I pissed him off. Yeah, let's go that way. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna find you later. Right. We just ruined his night, huh? Yeah. What he was up to. If it's a Pepe Le Pew, man, we save somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, demonstrate just a little bit here. Okay. Uh, like an air taxi, quick stop, just real quick. You have the controls? My controls. Don't need any more power. We don't want to balloon up, so we're going to be real careful to stay nice and low. See, I even came up a little bit there. Yeah. There's 45. And we're just going to float. And three, two, one. Okay, so now we're coming aft, and we're kind of holding this nose up. Yeah. And then we start getting these vibrations, so I'm raising and forward. And now I'm not just going to do more like a really vertical descent. It's going to be maybe a 45 degree angle or so. It's going to be basically a steep approach to the ground. We don't need to go screaming down uh, vertically. Yeah. Okay. All right. Your controls. I have the controls. You got them. All right. Oh, let's see. Uh, 50 minutes. So can you see what the hob says down there? Right between your legs? Uh, try to... Uh, seven... <laughs> six or eight. All right, let's see. Probably six, actually, because we're at 50 here, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to go a little bit longer, we can. Well, more than the point .9 is totally up to you. Yeah, let's do the point, at least point .9er. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the point .9 done tonight, but if you want to be done after that, we can be done, or we get enough oh, gas to do yeah. a lot of work, so. No, that's, uh, I think, good. All right. So, um, let's kind of turn around the other way, and we'll do... Yeah, we'll start. We'll start taxiing that way. We'll get to spot Charlie again. We'll do another takeoff. Okay. And um, this time we'll make left traffic for Alpha. We'll land Alpha. Now we'll land two eight left. Actually, we'll do a steep approach to the numbers two eight left. Okay. Do a nice approach. And there's nobody here right now. Yeah, we're basically on the airport. It's pretty nice. I don't even know if Charlie's behind us or in front of us. It, yeah, it's behind. behind us? Should be. Or this way, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think those, that where that light is on the buildings right there, I think that's right next to where we were and we're there.
little bit faster. I think I see it up there. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right. All right, so we'll get here, turn around, and do uh, left traffic for Alpha. All right. So our call is going to be uh, departing spot Charlie, left traffic for taxiway Alpha. Arthur, you want a 28 left? Yes, I do. <laughs> Sorry. So departing spot Charlie, left traffic for 28 left. Here we're traffic helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, departing spot Charlie for left traffic for 28 left. Here we're. Alright, so this time we don't have to do anything too crazy, right? Yeah, we can, we'll still turn our cross one before we get to that house, but we don't have yeah. to like, descend super, super early or anything. We'll just keep it kind of close to the airport on the downwind. Yeah. Alright, there we go. I think that's a house. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, I bet it's the clubhouse for the golf course. <laughs> I mean, all this time we were <laughs> gonna help them out. Yeah, we were not pissing people off. That's good. All right. Full car heat. Hey, we're traffic helicopter six two two Sierra Alpha left downwind two eight left. Hey, we're. Yeah, let's come a little bit tighter because I think the mobile home park is, yeah, that's the mobile home park. <laughs> Apparently those people are not happy when people fly over top. All right. So, yeah, we'll head out to the mall and then we can kind of turn right and then back in for the base so we don't fly over. The yeah, that's the mobile home park there. I think. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right. So, yeah. I watch my pedals here to make sure I don't fuck them up. Right base to left base to two eight left. <laughs> All right, start our descent here. Hayward traffic helicopter six two two Sierra Alpha left base to final two eight left. Hayward. It already because we had to avoid oh, the shit. mobile home park. Yeah, that's right. I got this is exactly what I expected because we we're not going to make it, so I just didn't want to fly over those people and get yelled at. All right, all right, so nice steep approach. Here's our 300 feet AGL. All right, our car peep is up. Oh, so the numbers are right past the right at the right next to the green lights. Yeah, oh, I think it's the first time I've actually paid attention to the. Poppy or uh, Bozzy or whatever the ones are. Yeah. All right. We go a little steeper than that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what a steep approach looks like in the 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can go a little bit steeper than this. This feels a little more normal, I think. Uh, so so pull a little more power. Okay. Started the approach a little bit early, which you were thinking. Yeah, we could have gone a little bit longer before we lowered collective. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's do one more. We'll, we'll do right traffic for this one so we can we don't have to overshoot the final approach. All right. Here we're traffic helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha on the go to a left for right traffic. Here we're. Lights are out. Gauges green. They line up a little bit here. Boom! There we go. Yeah, this will give us a little more freedom, I think. And we'll just kind of fly. Right over Sky West Drive, right there. Okay. That's Sky West right there? 
Yeah, it's a street that APP is on. Okay. But my air's here. It looks here. Oh, there's Sky West. Ready. Here, I think. Yeah, so that's Sky West right down there. Okay. And I think everything on Sky West Drive is business, but the things on Hesperia in there are residential. Okay. Yes. Hayward Traffic Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, right downwind to a left. Hayward. Alright. Climbing a bit. Bring that down. Alright, so for our steep approach, we want about that 15 degree angle. We want to start the approach at 300 AGL, which means basically 300 on the altimeter. Yeah. This field elevation is like 20 feet or something like that. So there's a beam, the spot we're going to land. Alright. Lights are out, gauges are green, we have enough fuel for where we're going, car beat is full. Cool. So I'll make a little loop here around the uh, wall. Bending slightly. Hayward Traffic Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, right base to final for 2A left. Hayward. Okay, so here's 300 feet, so don't go any lower. Alright. So bring the collective up. There we go. More power, more power. And we gotta, we're basically going to be cruising at 60 knots. Yeah. Yeah, so right around 19 inches is probably going to be good. Perfect. There, now we're nice and set up for a normal approach, for, or sorry, a steep approach from 300 feet AGL. Alright. Not the best at estimating approaches, but I'll give it a shot here. Yeah, so this feels, this is maybe like a normal approach. So we can go ahead and start lowering right about here. A whole bunch of down. And, and a whole bunch here. of aft. Right about about down, here steep. Aft. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Hold this. Yeah, so there's our steep approach angle. So now we're kind of watching our VSI. I'm going to give us full car beat off. All right. Okay, here comes ETL. Start bringing in that power. There we go. Power, power, power. Forward airspeed. Get those numbers. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. What do you think? Going to give one more shot at the numbers? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give one more shot. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Hayward traffic helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha on the go. Two eight left for right traffic. Hayward. So lights are out. Gauges are green. Trim here. Still kind of ballooned up a little bit there. Yeah. Odd mixture. <laughs> At least we're close to the airport if you pull the mixture. Yeah. Like we're gonna make concrete for sure. We're right above our landing spot, so yeah. Is that? Hey, we're traffic helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, right downwind to a left. Hey, we're. necessarily have to do a slower descent. You just, when you get to your altitude, you got to catch it. Yeah. I think on my turn here, I was coming down a little bit. Yeah, and as you turn, you're going to descend no matter what. Yeah. Is it 
you're, you're basically trading energy in one form or another for some other form of energy. Yeah. There you go. Cool. And that puts us right at about 300. Yeah, and I think that last one might have been a little closer to a normal approach, which <laughs> is my fault. Cause All right. Steep approach at night is pretty hard to judge. So we'll go a little steeper. Keep that altitude until we're ready. Okay, there's where we were last time, so let's go. Let's try that. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's a steep road. All right, cool. So remember, if our angle is too high or too low, we're gonna use collective. Yeah. All right, so we're, yeah, we gotta bring yeah. up that collective. Yeah, so on the steep approach, you're gonna be walking in for a while. Bringing in that collective. There we go. About side of 300 feet per minute. All right. There's our steep approach. That was steep. All right. Okay. I'm tired. Yeah, we got our time. Yeah, you ready to call tonight? Let's do it. Okay. So we'll just keep on going forward till we find a taxiway off to the right side. All right. That was an honest night's work. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hope it was worth your drive over from San Francisco. Oh, I came straight from work today. Anything? Oh, so from, uh... <laughs> yeah, from Mountain, Mountain View there. View. Actually, it wasn't bad. I left at 7, so about 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, if you fly with Blade, we can cut that into a <laughs> third of the time. Yeah, just let me know when you're picking up the Google VP, and uh, <laughs> I'll join him. Right. Taxi Bravo. So at what point are we officially clear of the runway? Uh, past the line right here, right? Yeah, and what, which part of us is past the line? Uh, I guess tail. Yeah, all parts, basically. Yeah. And then we got to hold, or not hold short, but check that yeah. 2-8 right is clear. Yeah, and so if we were taxiing around, we'd get the whole thing clear of that, and then we'd call ground and say, we're clear of 2-8 left at Bravo. So they can land people on their own way. So, okay, clear left. Clear right. Clear right. I think the other one's straight, yeah. Straight yeah, ahead This one right here? Yeah. How about alignment along with the runways or? Uh... Yeah, we'll face out to the runways. I guess that's where the wind generally comes from, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of face directly to the numbers 2-8. I want to face the, oh, okay. face the runways, or towards the runways, I should say. Okay. <laughs> That's why it gets a little wonky. 
All right. So friction. Yeah. Before friction. I do frictions, I'll run the engine down. Okay. Because with the with the RPM still up at the top of the green, if you accidentally bump the collective a whole bunch, like when you reach down to turn the friction on or something, and you pull your hand back up. Yeah. Fair enough. If you knock that collective, you'll pick up. Whereas now, if you raise the collective full up, you probably won't take off. It's not going to be pretty, but you're not going to go flying. Yeah, that was a good call. All right, uh, so friction, friction, and uh, now we cool down, right? So we got to hit the guy. Yep. Cool, and now we wait two minutes. So in the meantime, let's turn all this crap off. Oh yeah, that one doesn't have a shutdown, does it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Force of Damn it. I think I remember it though, so. The two minutes throttle, click, roll click. Yep. 30 second. Make sure. 30 seconds break. Yonix. Yep. Got a morning flight tomorrow? No, thank God. Cool. Actually, let me check my text before I say that with. <laughs> yeah, got nothing. Do on my first flight tomorrow. All right. Um, also, another reason I like to put the frictions on first is because in this R22, and most of the ones that I've flown, the well, that's not true. Depending on how the collective is set, if you let go of it, sometimes it will rise. So if you're sitting on the ground for a minute and you take the, you don't put the frictions <laughs> on, uh, yeah. or you're, uh, you don't have the frictions on yet, and you go start doing timers and all that stuff. You let go of that thing and it starts rising. You know, that's not good. Yeah. You don't want to pull and pitch on accident. Is that the car beat on a little bit. Oh, you can give it a pull off. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, two minutes. Go roll. 30 seconds. spinning and we'll leave that on so that the light stays on. When you start flying for Chris or and probably most most people that are gonna pay you to fly. Uh, the faster you know the more efficient things are the better obviously but like the less shit is on the better. Yeah. Uh, you know if you get the landing lights on when they don't need to be these are not LED bulbs, so they don't have like the 10,000 hour lifespan or whatever it is. Yeah. So these things will burn out eventually. Um, so when you can, you want to turn them off. Um, the nav lights on this are probably not LEDs either. Hmm. And just for efficiency's sake, you know, when you, when you do shut down, you know, you're probably going to have passengers in the back that you're going to have to go unload or whatever. Yeah. So you want to get there in a decent amount of time. One more spin here. There we go. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's see if I can stand up now. 
<laughs> I know, it's so pathetic. 25, man, press, or pushing 40. <laughs> yeah.